All right, hello guys. We are back. Um, I am here for a re revision for hole number five. Um, now that I kind of know what's going on, I'm going to set up my bag accordingly. Um, the backspin that you want to basically strive for on this hole is make sure you have at least 50. Um, if you don't, you know, switching over to QB here isn't going to be the end of the world. You might just have to change your aim a little bit as the way that you do it. Plus that extra ball guide is a little bit useful, but not really necessary. But it does kind of just give you an indicator of kind of the way that the shot's going to play off, but you can't really go off of it because the wind's kind of at an angle and down. The, the downwind's gonna push the ball trail farther than what it's showing on the screen anyway. So you need to kind of, you know, keep it a little bit on the shorter end of the green when you're setting up this shot. But we are going to be going for the island, just like yesterday. And I believe yesterday in my video, I had a great ball, which means I landed a little bit more left on the island. And I'm going to try to center that up a little bit better today. Um, I do believe that the shot that I used yesterday was kind of like four and a half back and four and a half side, which is usually what I play on this hole. Um, I didn't know what the wind was going to be like yesterday. Now that I do, I am going to kind of just do a revision and uh, improve on that a little bit. Um, the one thing that I do want to mention is whatever your wind is, you need to kind of overplay it. Um, you are into power, plus it's a downhill shot. You can see that the target is at a lower elevation. Just from that camera view alone, you can see that it's a lower target. So you do need to go extra rings if you're going to play that shot and give it a good run. That's not too bad. It's still cut in front of the hole, but barely. Um, I did briefly mention um, if you are going to use that technique, I believe we were on hole two shootout. So if you go to the end of that video, you can see me talk about what needs to be done there. And here, notice I'm going to go almost, you know, five and five today. Maybe five, four and three quarters on the backspin. And, you know, we're going to try to land centered on this... Uh, circle here we're going to set up like i said you know it's not the end of the world if you need to uh i'm going right around 10 rings here perfect ball should be much more centered onto the circle pretty good and like i said you know with that side spin just trying to kind of groove and find the perfect spot just coming in and you know that's kind of where the curl or the side spin is coming into play that's why you're kind of using a kingmaker over a bunny ball if you can see my video from yesterday I use a bunny ball and um, set up and originally was going to do that just to kind of reduce the wind but it doesn't have the side spin so one of the things that I might do on the weekend rounds is I might go to a Santa ball, but I'm getting very tight on those as well. So I might just stick with the Kingmakers. We'll see. But make sure you are overplaying that that wind. Um, you know, for example, I think we had, what, 8.7? Make sure you're going about 10 rings. Um, it's downhill, lower target, plus you're into power. Um, the... Uh, you know what? The Santa ball is a little bit harder because you won't be um, you won't be able to line up where I just did without you know going into power on the adjustment, but you can still get away with it. Um, just the way that you have to line it up is a little bit more challenging. It's more more kind of technically inclined. So, um, um, but I do think you know you could probably get away with it. And let's see if we can't come up with a half decent correction. So the shot that you saw me play, I'm going to kind of change my spin a little bit. Um, you know, if you saw my video from hole two, you know, I was a little bit more backspin than this. But that's because now that I'm into the wind, I kind of feel comfortable that, you know, it's going to kind of check up naturally. So there you're going to see me go right around nine, ten rings, somewhere in there. 
I'm not really going to even curl it here. And like I said, you know, those shot shape is going to kind of compress a bit. And there you see it's not quite going as deep as shown on the video. And as you can see, I didn't even need the curl. So I could have backed off of that entirely. So that was one of the... So it's one of those things that you just kind of have to get a feel for. So f for instance, you see where my ball trail was, the way that it looked, not even pointed at the hole or anything, well, it was almost a perfect shot. If I would have just hit it, no curl, nothing. So it's just kind of one of those things that you have to have a feel for and you have to understand before you even go for that adjustment that, uh, you know, that ball is going to shoot down more towards the hole because the compression of the ball guide isn't going to be what's shown. It's going to, you know, come back shorter and to the left than what's being shown on the guide. So had I just gone for, you know, a perfectly straight circle shot, as opposed to any curl at all, then it might have, you know, been a hole in one. It might have, it, you know, it probably would have at least, you know, lipped out. It would have been very, very close. So keep that in mind every time that you're shooting. Um, and hopefully, you know, techniques like that are going to help you with the adjustments. Uh, like I said, um, in terms of, you know, if you don't want to do that island shot, which um, I do think that that's going to give you the uh, best chance to make it, but if you don't want to go for the island shot, you can um, take a look at my second hole, the shootout. I taught, uh, because I don't even have, I think I have Thor hammers on. So, um, I'm not going to go for the island with Thor's hammer because it doesn't have the accuracy. You have to hit perfect ball. So, um, I went for the shot that you saw that guy do, but with a kind of a minor tweak. I, you know, I didn't quite hit it like him. Um, I kind of did a, a little bit more involved thing. Or you know what? I still had rock on. I didn't have Thor hammer. I'm not sure why I didn't go for the island. Probably because of how much side wind it was. Plus, I also wanted to kind of just double hit and show you guys if you want to go for the ace like that, this is how you do it. So I think that's the reason, that was my thought process as to why I did that on that shootout. So look that over and uh, you know, you can go at it with rock, same as I did on that video. Make sure that you have a side spin ball and uh, you, you'll be able to go to the right um, and potentially get the hole in one that way as well. So good luck with whichever method you choose. And uh, be on the lookout for hole number six coming up.